Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back. Uh, so in the previous video uh, we have implemented this uh, continue with Facebook uh, option. So when we click this button and uh, give our application permission, uh, we are going to get uh, redirected to our welcome activity. Okay, so uh, now uh, we are going to make uh, some modifications to our code. Uh, as you can see when we run our application again, we will see this log out button which says uh, basically that we are logged in but we are not uh, redirected to our welcome activity and now we're going to fix that so uh, what we need to do we need to override our on start method so i'm going to copy this code from this all right and i'm going to paste this uh, just below our on create method here okay so here uh, we are going to use a firebase user object and uh, now just below that we're going to use if block and we're going to check if a user is uh, actually logged in so if a current user is not null that means uh, that uh, we are actually logged in and uh, in that case we're going to paste this uh, update ui method here and this update ui will actually uh, redirect the user to welcome activity so let's check it out okay as you can see we are automatically redirected to our welcome activity so uh, we have fixed uh, that bug okay and it works perfectly fine so as you can see this update ui method we have that method uh, down below where it uh, where we have a uh, check if uh, our user is not null and we are basically uh, using intent so now that we have fixed that uh, we can proceed and uh, create our uh, welcome activity layout so i'm going to choose the, this um, default icon for a facebook uh, user uh, this uh, icon is uh, available when you implement a Facebook SDK in your uh, Android Studio project and uh, we're going to create uh, two text views uh, down below so the first text view will represent the first and last name and the second text view will represent an email address of our user all right and of course we're going to add uh, one more button here just below our uh, two text views so basically we want to let the user uh, have option to sign out as well okay so let's add that button here okay let's connect those constraints set to zero top constraint should be around uh, 100 dp maybe okay and let's run our application to see how uh, this looks okay so this is just a basic uh, uh, ui design we don't need uh, any more complex uh, than this so let's uh, change the ids for our uh, elements here uh, so image view will have my photo uh, this text my name the second text view uh, my email uh, button will have just a, a sign out button okay all right so uh, now let's change the text of our uh, two text views to email uh, to name and email and the button will say uh, sign out okay text all caps to false and uh, we can also add the text size maybe here and the text style to bold okay let's copy those two uh, attributes and uh, paste them here inside our second text view and uh, i think our layout uh, uh, looks uh, basic so we don't need uh, anything else and now inside our welcome activity we're going to create um, image view text view and button objects and we're going to initialize those uh, elements here in on create method we're going to find the id of those elements as well okay so we're going to add the um, on click listener for our button and we're going to sign out our user when the user clicks this button of course all right so let's find the id first my name uh, my email and the button of course so uh, we need to sign out uh, sign out our user from firebase and from uh, facebook sdk so you will see and uh, first we're going to create a firebase authentication object and we're going to initialize this uh, firebase authentication and get the instance inside our on create method here and just below that we're going to add a firebase user object okay so get current user and here uh, we are going to uh, First, let's use uh, Firebase uh, authentication to sign out. So just use this sign out. And next, we're going to use a login manager, which is part of the Facebook SDK. And we're going to use a logout method. 
and of course a finish method uh, will just uh, exit our uh, welcome activity okay so uh, next when a user uh, open up our application uh, he will no longer be uh, logged in so let's check it out as you can see uh, we can click sign out and we get back to our sign in uh, uh, first uh, main activity and when we run our application again as you can see we are no longer uh, logged in which is great so now let's uh, log in again so click continue and as you can see we will get uh, redirected here so uh, that function uh, works fine okay as you can see now we are automatically redirected here when we are logged in okay so uh, the next thing what we are going to do uh, we are going to uh, grab all the information from our uh, user and we're going to display them inside our welcome activity so uh, down below uh, we're going to add the if box so if uh, m user is not null that means that we are actually logged in uh, so we use this block to avoid the null pointer exceptions okay so let's use this uh, m user object uh, and we're going to get the display name, get email, and get photo URL. And we're going to store those uh, results inside the strings. So three strings. Okay. And uh, we're going to display this uh, photo from URL uh, using a glide. Uh, glide uh, uh, from our GitHub. So let's uh, open up that. Okay, we're going to add the dependency for our glide. So let's copy those two lines of code inside our uh, module application Gradle build file. Okay, sync now. And uh, let's copy this just one line, one line of code. And basically we're going to display our photo URL to our image view. So here, just below that, paste that, add this glide. So alt enter. enter and uh, change this image view uh, name to photo my photo and uh, this string uh, will be replaced with uh, string photo URL okay all right so uh, after we have set our uh, photo uh, we are going to continue by setting our text views so my name will set the name and uh, my email text view we are going to set the, this email string so we can open up this application and uh, check it out. Okay. So uh, as you can see, uh, our photo, a profile photo from Facebook is uh, pretty much uh, large. So we need to decrease the size of that. So go ahead uh, in our activity welcome layout and change the width and height uh, to our image view to, for example, 250 dp and now our image uh, will shrink and of course just below that we have our two text views where we have our first last name and our email address down below so i have blurred those uh, informations but still uh, we are successfully uh, displaying those uh, informations and i'm going to decrease this uh, uh, image view uh, just a little bit to 200 dp in width and height okay and now it looks uh, it looks better okay so there is one more thing uh, we should uh, modify here so this back arrow is uh, unnecessary here so we don't need that when we click this back arrow we just get redirected to our welcome activity and we don't need that because we have our sign out button so i'm going to use this android manifest xml file and remove this parent attribute and let's run our application again so we don't have that arrow anymore we just click sign out and we are get back we are back to our sign in or uh, main activity when we run our application again uh, we are signed out so we need uh, to log in again and give permission to our application and we are redirected to our welcome activity so that function uh, works perfectly fine and uh, here uh, when we open our firebase uh, console uh, inside this uh, authentication tab uh, we can see this uh, uh, email address from our user from facebook of course uh, i have blurred this information but still uh, we have uh, our user inside our database here so that's a great thing and uh, that will be all for this video see you in the next one